Hey everybody, welcome to Farming Simulator 19. I am Farmer Min for this quick little guide on how the new economies are going to work with the um, the patch update that has been released for PC and should be released uh, this week for the um, Xbox and the uh, PlayStation. So basically this will be a quick little video. Uh, I, I don't know if it's been explained in, in other ones, but I thought I would run through it real quick. This is for the patch 1.2.0.1. So basically how the new economies are gonna work. You're still gonna have the uh, the new farmer, the farm manager, the start from scratch option when you open up a game. And I also wanna clarify that this is on the PC right now, of course, because the uh, patch has not been released for the console as of yet. So let's just start a new game. Um, we'll go over here and open one. So you're still gonna have the new farmer, farm manager, and start from scratch option. Doesn't matter which one you choose, you will have um, the option to change the economy once in the game, which is kind of a cool feature, which we'll go over here in a second. I'm just gonna go new farmer, just for the uh, sake of this demonstration, and we'll just go here to Ravenport, there's my stuff. I'm just gonna deselect all the mods, um, so nothing is gonna influence this at all. Um, once the game loads and opens, you will see in the menu that you are gonna have uh, economy options. So we'll start. Um, no, I don't need to do the tour. Uh, we'll just take off that map here. So once you're in the game and you're setting it up, if you go into your options menu, which you have up on the top here, um, you're gonna see now with this new patch update, this patch 1.2.0.1, .1, just below the time scale, you have economic difficulty, normal, hard easy normal and hard easy normal and hard the key to this is that we didn't have an fs17 is that you can change this now throughout your gameplay so let's just say i want to start off in easy i'll just save that for the sake of discussion so now i'm playing the game in easy economics um so if i go with this look at the prices so if i go into the prices um let's just scroll across here and look at some wheat um 11.57 uh barley or yeah barley 1138 oats 1781 1983 up here is the highest for um oats canola wow look at that 2070 sunflowers 2228 um scroll across here soybeans 3000 bucks for soybeans um corn we have 1304 potatoes 615 is the highest sugar beets 389 look at that here's the big thing that i had a video out earlier cotton 4200 bucks for cotton and there you can see straw eggs 5700 uh wool 1705 milk uh and all the other stuff there you can see the uh, price is on okay so let's say let's say you play that a little bit you get some money built up you, you're, you're sitting okay and now you think, well, I can go change it. So I'm gonna switch to normal. I'm just gonna save the game. I don't know if it makes a difference. It probably doesn't. But uh, now let's go back to prices. You're gonna see a dramatic decrease in the prices. Wheat, for example, which was a thousand, you know, down to what more, what we're kind of used to and so on and so forth. Um, soybeans always been a cash crop. It's still 1800 bucks for soybeans um wool which was for over four thousand is now 2500 and so on and so forth so the prices have gone down quite a bit okay now let's say you're playing that you say okay well i made a bunch of money that's too easy um i'm gonna go on to difficulty so i'm gonna go on to hard mode and we'll go check out the prices on hard mode so now they're 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 not as dramatic of a drop but look at this wheat down to 385 um some other stuff soybeans down to a thousand bucks um cotton 1420 which is still a lot higher than uh before the patch came out so that's kind of interesting um eggs are still kind of up there but there you go there you can see the uh, rest of the prices which are you know a lot lower um big difference i mean wheat for crying out loud 
385 at the restaurant is the highest price on card. So let's just go over here, 385 at the restaurant. And now let's go back to easy. Um, now let's go check out the price again. Wheat at the restaurant is now 1157, 800 bucks roughly higher per 1000 liter uh, between the three different levels. Now, hey, play whatever way you want. Nobody, you can play whatever way you want. Nobody can tell you how to play this game. It's only up to you. Uh, if you choose easy, you're gonna get a heck of a good prices. You know, normal. So, you know, normal would be, I think above average and hard is gonna be, well, like it says, hard. But the key thing to remember is that the econ economic difficulty is gonna be changeable throughout the game. And it's in this setting. So you don't decide that when you open up a new save game. It is um, it is in here. Easy, normal, and hard. So that is pretty darn cool, I have to say. That's all I got in this short little video, just to kind of explain how that's going to work. Um, I've had to have questions. Uh, some people have had asked me questions on how it works. Um, you know, the cool thing is, is that you can kind of see um, some of this patch on the PC before it comes to council. Which is, which is pretty cool, kind of get used to it a little bit. But um, yeah, that's all I got. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do that as well. And um, have yourself a great day, and we will see you later. So long.